Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use the Visualize phase in SAP Lumira. So what all we can do in the Visualize tab? So this is used to create the different types of charts and the visualizations on the data set which is available in the Prepare tab. So first of all, we acquire the data, we prepare our data in the Prepare tab and then we use that prepared data into the Visualize tab to create the visualizations. So let's see how we can do that in the tool. So if I go here to my SAP Lumira tool, if I go to New and after that, if I acquire any data set, let's say from the text file, if I choose the text file on which I want to create the data set and if I click on Open, so my data set is getting acquired here and once my data is available in the prepare tab and once I am done with the formatting, adding the calculated measures and the values, after that I go to the visualize tab. So in the visualize tab we have different areas like on the left hand side we have the dimension and the measure panel. So here I can see all my dimensions and the measures which are acquired in the data set and they are available to me to create the visualization. So we can simply drag and drop the objects from this panel to the chart pane to create the charts on the X and the Y axis. And at the top we can see the horizontal and the vertical orientation to change the display of the objects in this panel. So we can see here that this is the vertical orientation and this is the horizontal orientation. So we can change it as per the requirement. After that, if I go here, then these are this area. We can see the different types of visualizations, what I can create in the visualization tab. So here I have the option of creating the different chart types. So first of all, I have these bar charts. So if I go to the drop down, I can see the different types of bar and the column charts which are available. Similarly, we have the line chart. If I go here, I can see the multiple types of line charts which are available in SAP Lumira. After that, we have the pie charts. So we can use the pie chart, donut chart, pies with the def chart. Then we have the maps. So these are the geographic charts with, on which we can create the geo bubble chart, geo pie chart and the geo map. Then we have these charts which are the scatter charts. So we can create the scatter plot, we can create the bubble chart, we can create the scatter matrix chart. Here it is the heat map and the tree map. Similarly, if I go here, I have the tables like the cross tab. And then we have the point charts and then we have the different charts which are for the time series and this one which is for the complementary charts like the box plot, funnel chart, network chart. So all these are the different types of charts which we have in the visualization tab in Lumira. So we can use the data set and we can create any one of them. So let's say if I want to first create a bar chart. So I can simply go here and I can add the values on my X axis. Similarly, I can add the values on my Y axis. So here I can see the sales revenue by city in this chart. Now if I want to change it to some other chart, I can simply click on it and it will automatically turn my bar chart into the line chart. So this way I can easily switch from the one chart to the another chart using these options. Here we can also add the multiple visualizations. So let's say this is my one visualization and now I want to create a new one. In this new one, I want I don't want the sales revenue, I want the gross margin. So I want to show the gross margin by country. So now I can see that these are my gross margin by country and I can see them in the lower section of the screen. So this is my sales revenue by city, this is my gross margin by country. Similarly, I can keep on adding the number of visualizations in the visualization tab. So these visualizations we can use and we can create the stories using them in the Compose tab. So uh, here we have the chart canvas. So basically we call this area as a chart canvas. So this is used to create or modify the visualization. We can directly drag the attributes and the measures in this area. And after that we can do the different options here. So now if I go here, so this option 
here I have the new reference line if I want to manage the reference lines similarly we have this option where we can export the records if I want to export the records I can use this option similarly if I come here so in this we have if we want to apply any rules so I can apply the new rule I can manage the existing rules and then we have the option of adding the counter running calculations moving average percentage of difference from custom calculation so all these different options we can do here in the visualization tab after that we have the option of fit chart to the frame so if we want to change the size of the chart as per the frame we can use this option similarly we have this option of sorting so we can sort by the dimensions and then we have this option where we can add or edit the ranking based by the measure after that we have this option of clearing the chart if I want to clear the chart and if I want to use other values in the chart I can use this clear chart option then we have this setting option if I go to the settings so what I want to show in my chart so here I am showing the title and I'm showing the legends but if I want to choose the colors, if I want to show the data labels, if you use the uh, measures as a dimension, if you set the axis scale, if you want to show the grid lines, so all these you can do from this setting. After that we have this option of maximize and then we have the option of refresh. So either I want to just refresh the data or I want to refresh the data with prompts. So when we have to use this refresh data with prompts, so let's say if I have created one visualization based on the data set might be the HANA view or the universe or any other where I have the filters defined, where we have the prompts defined. So if I want that on the refresh, it should ask me for changing the value of the prompts. I should choose this option of refresh data with prompts. Otherwise, I can simply use this refresh. After that, we have this option of undo and we have this option of redo here in the visualize visualization tab so all these are the different options which are available to me in the visualization tab after that we have the different visualization tools so if I go to the file here and if I go to the preferences under the preferences we have charts so here we have the option of setting up the chart like ch uh, we can have the option of chart canvas layout so how the position of the chart builder should be after that we have this option of chart style so we can choose from the different color palette which are available here so which color palette I want to use for dimension which color palette I want to use for the measure if I want to use any default template and after that we have the export records so the default export type should be aggregated or it should be detailed and then the data update so do we want to update the data for the incomplete charts so we can choose from the settings, we can use this and the preferences, we can change the data palette, we can change the color palette, we can change the export options of my data. So all these things we can do within the visualization tab of SAP Lumira. So in this tutorial, we discussed about the visualization room in SAP Lumira. Thank you.